Minision, what up everybody? Thank you for tuning in. Today we have another one for you. Today we're going to be going over a canto for chango. This is going to be broken down into three parts. Um, I'll sing the three parts and then we'll get right into this main video. But I'll sing it real quick for you, what I want to go over in a span of three videos. It's going to sound like When mi le re lu be o mo yo Ele we mi o mo yo Chango ko ma ye o mo yo E mi so e mi ala do so mo ni he re mi e Mo he a ma la mo ni he re mi e Mo he a ku ko mo ni he re mi e O ba to Weri o ba la do O ba lu be lu be yo O ba to Weri o ba la do Three different parts, we're focusing on just the first part, okay? And I chose this song because it's one of my favorite Chango songs. So, let's jump into it. Very interesting piece. First, regular speed. You can read along with me. When mi le re lu be o ma yo E we we mi o ma yo Chango ko wa ye o ma yo the reason why I have these lines here, they're incomplete, is because depending on who you listen to, they're going to give you different answers and different renditions. So if I put when mi le re lu be o mo yo, Lázaro Ross, who's considered to be the greatest Akbon who ever lived, he says o mo yo. Um, Jesús Pérez, has, he said o mo yo. Francisco Aguabella, another very respected um, Akbon, he says Omo Yo, but the choir, the response, they say Mayo. Um, uh, some people they say O, o Ma O Yo. Um, Ibei, if you're familiar with the group Ibei, when they sing it, they say When mi le re lu be o ba o yo. In the book, in the John Mason book here, it only mentions mayo. It's not that there's a wrong answer. It's just that depending on what you say changes the meaning of the entire word. So you can literally just take any of these four options and put it into these three areas, whichever one you like the most, whichever one you want to sing to your own chango, um, and get different, um, I would just say, different I don't know, reactions you know what i'm trying to say but yes and i'm gonna sing it slow now forgive me for my russian when me let it lube oh ma o yo e we we mi o mo yo chango ko wa ye o ba o yo when me let it lube oh ma yo E we we mi o ba o yo Chango ko wa ye o mo yo You could put these anywhere. It really doesn't matter. But once you pick one, you have to stay consistent. So if you pick number one, o ma o yo, it's o ma o yo for all three. And that goes, you know, o mo yo, you pick it for all three. I was just showing you an example. And if you look over here, there is an asterisk um, above the W in the book. It says a we we mio. But what you actually will hear in videos, you'll hear a le we mio. As if this were an L. A le we mio. I have a we we mio. What's the difference? It changes the what's being said. In the book it says a we we, but what I've actually heard in a lot of videos, including Las Oro Rosas, is a le we mio. So keep in mind that. And um yeah, it's very, it's not convoluted, this video, but there are just a lot of options. And, um, uh, yeah, and remember that what I'm saying, what you see here, is written down phonetically, meaning how it sounds. You know, I don't know if this is how you spell whale, but that's what it looks like on paper speak using the English um, alphabet. So, I hope you enjoyed yourself. And uh, if you have any questions, if anything was confusing, please let me know. Leave it in the comments. I'm going to sing it one more time. When mi le re lu be o mo yo 
えうえみよもよちゃんごこわいえよもよ OK? And like I said, pick which one and throw it in. And there are two other parts that are sung directly after this. So let me know what you think and I'll answer any questions that you have、um, at the bottom. And I'll leave the translations in the、um, description box. Thank you very much. Peace.